I'm very aware of, of my job in the situation, very aware of my job uh, to not be uh, swayed uh, by public opinion, by media, by any of those different things. I can't and um, will not pretend to understand the pain the families are experiencing, but I did sit through these trials with you. I saw what you saw. I heard what you heard. So I can and will offer my deepest and most sincere condolences for your unfathomable, well, unfathomable losses. It's, it's, as I just said, it's not, it's not my role, it's not the role of the court system to make an example of the defendants. However, it is a goal of sentencing to act as a deterrent. These charges are not jury edicts about gun ownership or keeping the gun in a private home. All of the jurors in both trials agreed that they understood that. Parenting is a complex job. Parenting practices around the world share the goals of ensuring health and safety, preparation for life as a productive adult, and transmission of cultural values. Parents are not expected to be psychic. But these convictions are not about poor parenting. These convictions confirm repeated acts or lack of acts that could have halted an oncoming runaway train, about repeatedly ignoring things that would make a reasonable person feel the hair on the back of their neck stand up, opportunity knocked over and over again, louder and louder, and was ignored. No, one's, no one answered, and these two people should have and sure didn't. Mr. Crumley, it's clear to this court that because of you, there was unfettered access to a gun or guns, as well as ammunition in your home. You characterized yourself as a martyr and threatened the well-being of the prosecutor. Mrs. Crumley, you glorified the use and possession of these weapons. Your attitude toward your son and his behaviors was dispassionate and apathetic. Your response to school staff after a 12-minute meeting was, are we done here? During your trial, you announced that you wouldn't do anything different. I understand that that might have been uh, misinterpreted, but it did cut the victims deep. Because of both of your actions and inaction, among many, many other things, the world is missing out on a top uh, world is missing out on, and a top college university will meet out, meet, miss, miss out on Tate's star quality football skills. Um, I, I met Raina, who's wise beyond her years, and she's told us that among many, many other things, the community will be denied Hannah's kindness, creativity, and sense of humor. Among many, many other things, the world will miss is Madison's kind and loving soul and the light that reflected her beauty both inside and out. Although a hero in death because of his organ donations that helped so many, we will never know where Justin, an excellent student with vast skills and interests, described as a mentor and a leader, would have left his giant imprint. The impact statements given here and the written statements provided to the court describe the cataclysmic impact the deaths of these children have had on their children. With regard uh, to each defendant, um, this court uh, has spent night and day thinking about this case, as you can imagine. I've prayed about this case, I've thought about this case, and I've considered the possibility for rehabilitation, the need to protect society, the penalty appropriate to the conduct and goal of deterring others from similar, similar conduct. I, re I have reviewed the pre-sentence investigation reports. I am, of course, sadly familiar with the facts and circumstances of these cases, as well as those surrounding each defendant. The advisory sen sentencing guidelines in this matter do not capture the catastrophic impact of the acts or inaction in, the, in these matters. The guidelines do not take into account the complete lack of insight both defendants have for their behavior to this very day. The guidelines do not account for the severe, severity of the circumstances in this matter. 
The guidelines ignore the survivors, including shooting victims, Bibi Arthur, Elijah Mueller, Riley Franz, Kylie Osage, John Asciutto, Molly Darnell, and Aiden Watson. They were deeply wounded, both physically and emotionally. In addition to the seven wounded, each of the defendants' gross negligence has caused unimaginable suffering to hundreds of others as a result of what happened that day. Each act or inaction created a ripple effect. Therefore, an out-of-guidelines sentence is appropriate and proportional. The court uses the useful, useful tool of the legislative guidelines, which embody the, the principles of proportionality, while also taking into account the nature of the offense and the background of each defendant. I believe that the following sentences would be in the best interest of justice and are reasonable and proportionate to the seriousness of the matter and the circumstances surrounding each defendant. With regard to Jennifer Crumley, it is the sentence of this court, Ms. Crumley, that you served 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections. You will have credit for 858 days. State costs are $272. There's a crime victim's rights fee of $130. Um, you and your agents may not have any contact with fam the families of Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling. Um, I will issue another ruling with regard to contact um, with your son, the shooter. <coughs> Excuse me. As, defend as to defendant James Crumley, it is the sentence of this court that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections, that you receive credit for 858 days, that you pay state costs in the matter of uh, $272, that there is a crime victim's rights fee of $130, that you or your agents have no contact with the families of Madison Baldwin, Tate Muir, Hannah St. Juliana, and uh, Justin Schilling. Um, Ms. Wheeler, have I left anything out?